Hi there, your computer friend Connie here with another Teams lesson for you. This one is all about how to share files with virtually anybody. So you might be thinking, well, doesn't chat already do that? Nope, it doesn't. There's some catches to how that works in chat. Uh, so that's not the immediate answer. So the catch is there's, it's no problem to share files with somebody if they're on a team already as a guest. So guest normally means they're external to your organization or they're a member of a team already, which means they're part of your organization. So how we're gonna tackle this is I'm gonna show you a creative approach that will use Teams and use chat, but it will let us share a file with anyone that is external to our organization. All right, so let's check it out. So I'm gonna start by just showing you the chat window. So typically this is where you would go if you wanna share information with one person or maybe a group of people that are not part of a team. So this would be where you would think to go with that external person or that guest. And so the example I have in front of us here is, this is a guest, Mission Computers SA is an email address that is not part of my organization. Um, it's a Gmail address. And so with this guest email address, this person, I'm chatting with this person, this is this pretend person, and I've shared a file with them. Now how that happened is I had to make that person a member of a group first, and then I could chat with them. If they're not a member of a group, I can't chat with them. But the cool thing is, I can actually change their membership from that group after I start the chat. So maybe I should slow down here. What that means is I can make somebody a member of a group, an external person, a member of a team that I have, start a chat for them so I can send them information, chat back and forth, and then I can go back to my team and take them out of the team and my, my chat will continue. That is the workaround. So let's just see how this works. So Mission Computers, in my notes, I just wanted to remind myself and you that this was originally part of the class team. So I'm gonna to go to Teams on the left side here. And I have class. I'm gonna to go to Manage the Team. Three dots, Manage the Team. And you're gonna see under Members and Guests, there's no Mission Computers in that list, right? but they're still in the chat. So then that's because they were a member yesterday, took them out, and now I can still chat with them. So just to prove that, if I go to my chat, um, I can click in here, say hello again, and I can click on my attached and upload a file. All right, so that's the end result. Let's show you how you get here, okay? So I'm gonna go into a team um, and I'm gonna add in a, a guest and then I'm gonna create a chat and then I'm gonna go back to the team and I'm gonna take out that guest. All right, so we're gonna go into the teams area and take a look at how we can add somebody to a team, create a chat and then take them off of a team. Let's start by just showing you how if you type in an external person's email address, that you may not be able to chat with them. And one thing I should mention here is that if that external person does have teams on their end, you'll be fine, you'll be able to chat with them. But if it's someone that doesn't have Microsoft Teams yet on their system, then that's where we run into trouble with this. So let's start by doing a new chat. I'm gonna type in uh, email address that I know isn't anywhere in my Teams and I've never typed in here before. So I've typed in the email address that says, didn't find any matches, do you wanna search it externally? So I can say that. So that's where it's searching to see if this person has a Teams account. Didn't find any matches, I try and hit enter. Won't let me chat with this person. So I can't get this person started with Teams. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this email address, cut it out of here, and we'll copy it in some into a team. So I'm gonna to go to Teams now Go back to the class, manage that team. And under members and guests, you see Perry and Ashley are there. I'm gonna add a member. So 
So I just put that email address in there. Say add as a guest, add. Now what what will happen with this person because we know they don't have a Teams uh, app yet is that when they get this email from us saying we've been they've been invited to a, a chat, they will have a, a link where they can click on and that'll open up a web browser for them and they can open up Teams from the web and they can choose to download Teams if they want to. It's a free download for them. So they can either just use it right from the web or they can download onto their computer and use it that way. Or they can use it on their phone too. It's free download on their phone. So we have that person's name there. Let's close that. So the person is now part of a team. So let's go back to chat. Let's paste that person's email address in here again. And now they're found. And now I can type something. Yep, it sent it away. And now I can add something from my computer. And I'm sending them an email. Or sorry, sending them an attachment. So now I don't really want them a part of that team. I just want, I wanted to use the teams as a way of get, get working around this. So I'm going to go back to that team. I'm going to go back here to manage teams and click on the drop down, go to that person and just hit the X to delete them. And now go back to chat. And student of MC is still there in my chat. I'm going to type something again. I can still chat with them. I can still upload files, even though they're no longer a part of my team. So that's how you work around it. And that person will get an email message again, prompting them to open teams either on their phone as an app or uh, on a web browser that they can log into, or if they want to download it, that's fine as well. But this is how it works. You can email and share files with anybody when you use this method. Now, just a side note, if you think it's too much work to go into a team and add members and take out members, then you can just make a team that's called guests, guests only. And all, the purpose of that team is just for you to put all these guests in there so that you can chat with them and then just never use that team for, you know, chatting regularly. You always just use this chat area. Okay, or you can call that team external people only or you know what it whatever makes sense to you and just leave them in there it's not going to do any harm it's just that you don't want to uh, if you did use this team now if i did um, add something to this team here that person that i just added would see it if they're a member of it okay so don't forget to do that uh, so just consider that as well but hopefully that's a good workaround for you thanks for joining me and uh, stay tuned for the next one Bye bye